All right, y'all, Jay Sex here, back with another video. As you tell from the title, we're doing this thing on Ryan Kitsy. I don't know what I'm talking about. Play the outro. Play the outro. Alright, what's up y'all? Jay Stettis here back with another video, and as you can tell from the title, um, we about to be reacting to, or just like watching this together. Um, this dude named Ryan Case, you guys probably know him. Um, I've, I've definitely mentioned him in a couple of my videos. I watch him, follow him on Instagram, anything like that. And basically he was accused by, um, this person that he was on steroids, and they like, the person brought up like facts and stuff like that, or what they thought was facts. On, on how he was um, on steroids and stuff like that. And basically he's making like a reaction video to it, kind of describing or clearing his name, I think. I don't know, or maybe he's admitted to steroids. I've not watched the video yet. So um, me personally, I don't think he's on steroids. Me personally, I'm just saying that, oh, let me get one thing out the way. Cause this is one dude commented on my video, right? He was like, yo, um, you should check out, he commented on my Bradley Martin, natural not video. And he was like, you should check out this dude named Kenny KO or something like that. And then he was like, oh wait, you already know who he is because you bit off of his idea with the whole steroid and natural thing. First of all, I did not even know who that dude was until I uploaded my first video and then his video started popping up in my recommended and I realized he was doing it before me. So I think I watched a couple of his on, um, what's the one dude name? The Chol Soon, I think that's what it is. And I'm pretty sure I put him inside the video. Like I said, I learned something from that video. So... I'm not biting off him. I thought of this idea on my own. I did not even know who he was until I put up that video. But I don't really care what y'all think at this point in my life. I'm just making videos for my entertainment and your entertainment too. All right, so let's go. All right, guys, what's up? You guys know what we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna be responding to Philion. We're gonna be responding to all the steroid accusations. Philion, I was about that. For the past eight months, it's been crazy. You know, I've obviously gotten steroid accusations in, you know, all my years of lifting. I've lifted for like five and a half years now. Me too, buddy. But ever since he came out with that video, it's been like crazy and the accusations haven't stopped whenever I post a video. That's all it's about. And I kind of just want to be honest and just literally say everything, put everything out there. So we're going to start right now. What we're going to be responding to in this video is Phil, the, all the steroid accusations, SARMs, programming, you know, if I actually use my program, that was, a, that was a common question as well, and my bench press progression. I'm going to just let you guys know right now, I'll probably cut out some parts that's like dead and like that's not pertaining to what this video is about, so um, yeah. So let's get right into it. How about you steroids? No. How about you SARMs? Yes. So. What is SARMs? I don't even know what SARMs is. I'm about to Google that right now, actually. Maybe he'll explain it because I don't know what it is and I just Googled it and I still don't know what it is. With SARMs, I started taking them around this time last year. I had been strict training for like five months prior to taking them. And, you know, it was solely my decision to take them. You know, you guys know, you know, my dad has been open about his steroid use. Everyone accuses him, you know, everyone's like, yo, you, you give you some steroids probably, you do this, you do that, you influence them in the wrong way, in that way. But the thing is, is <coughs> the thing is, he doesn't know much about SARMs. Maybe he's read an article or two, or he's learned from me, but it was solely my decision. I researched it online. You know, I went through forums. I looked at other people's like blood tests and stuff, and I made the decision myself to take SARMs or them. So I started taking them around that time, and I took them for four months. So up until around like probably early January, around the time that I hit my 385 bench. I said I only, you know, I did it for the first four months, but I've done more like since you know, October to January. Uh, for this summer, during my cut, I used them as well. And yeah, those are the, you know, the two times, the two cycles I did of SARM. So I just wanted to put that out there. For my second cycle, I used, I think I just used Austrian. I, I just MK66. I still don't know what SARMs is, and I feel like to understand what this is, I have to look that up. Oh, they're like a legal steroid alternative. Well, that's what I'm seeing here. They're legal because steroids are illegal. These are like, uh, they are tend to have the same effects as steroids, but are more selective in their action, allowing them to be used for more uses than the relatively limited legitimate uses of anabolic steroids. So they're like baby steroids? I guess. I don't know. Let's see what he's saying. MK2866. So just wanted to put that out there. Want to be as clear. So yeah, back to the video. I guess let's just talk about my bench press progression within that as well because that's where most of it happened. So 
I remember with my bench press grip. Wait, sorry, I'm pausing this again because remember I said in the video I didn't think he was on steroids. He just admitted. Is it still steroids? I don't know. Drop a comment down below if it's still like considered like steroids, steroids. So he's not natural. I don't know, man. I feel like I got bamboozled. Gretchen, I first started taking them around October, and that time I'd been doing like my crazy bulk for probably a few weeks. Um, I'd say, yeah, I went from like 175 to 208. Um, I was probably one 180 in October. One thing that Phil said that I have to say right now is that he said that my strength increased rapidly without me gaining much body weight, which is definitely not true. I went from benching 275, weighing 175 on a cut, to hitting 385 on that day, weighing 208 pounds, like the fattest I've ever been. Like literally, look at my face in that in that video. Like I, it's it's terrible. Like I actually can't believe it. I took them and started in October. I think I went from like like kind of being able to hit 315 like one month uh, with like uh, wraps around my elbows to like hitting 385 like fucking air. I mean no, to like hitting 335 like air. Like it was it was crazy. It was definitely the five to 7,000 calories a day and the SARMs. What SARMs did I take? I took S4, LGD, and MK677, which is a, a, which is a secreted dog, not really a SARM, but you know, it's very well associated with them. I'm not, gonna about to, I'm not gonna talk about dosing or anything, but those are the first three that I took for those four months. Yeah, so I went from like, barely being able to hit 315, hitting 335, and then I think on the same time, I think the same day I hit 335, I went through for 355 and like caused like a really bad shoulder injury. I, I definitely like tore something and I couldn't lift. I was like, I couldn't bench press for like, I don't know, like a month, month and a half. Um, I still have this injury to this day. Like it's still, my shoulder just hasn't felt the same. But yeah, so I went from that, tried 355, couldn't do it. Took like four to six weeks off. Then went, got right back into it and I started just progressing every single month. You know, my food was on point. I was eating more than I ever had. Um, you know, my supplementation, as everyone likes to say, you know, my SARMs, uh, you know, I was, I was doing all that. And, you know, my training was on point as well. You know, I took training like religiously day in and day out. So for those four months, I was progressing pretty fast. At the end, weighing 208, I hit 385. And that is that. Traps, all right. Even my friends, literally Blake that lives with me, always says this. He's like, what do you do for traps, my guy? Obviously, quoting Phil. And so, in that video, Phil was like, yo, like, what do you do for traps? Like, you're not doing this, you're not doing that. Around, it, the clips that he was actually showing in the video, around that time, I actually was deadlifting. But, I haven't really trained traps, like, I haven't done shrugs or anything to isolate them since I was, like, 14. Uh, I'm going to show a clip when I was, like, 13, 14 here. And this is when I was like shrugging like 90s with the dumbbells and I was like crazy about training traps. But the thing is, is like what I'm doing in this video Dang. that you're seeing right now is I'm rolling my shoulders forward. Like there's two different types of most musculars that I do. I used to do this one a lot and that would just pop out my shoulders and make me look wide. But now what I always do is I just roll everything together and bunch up, which makes my traps pop out. And it's I still can't flex my traps. Like, I've already made a video about this, but it's all due to posing. Um, yeah, I don't really train my traps. I just literally ground them and squeeze them when I do that pose. And it makes a crazy difference if you actually know I'm how to. Right now, he's not really talking about like the topic anymore, so I'm trying to like see if there's anything else. Even with someone that has... Well, I guess a good question would be, it wasn't really asked, but like if I will ever take steroids. And the thing is, go. is like, you know, as you guys know, or maybe you don't know, but like I'm literally, I'm, I am surrounded people, but I am surrounded by people that do take steroids. Like... And the thing about it is, like, I've obviously always thought it. I literally, a few weeks ago, I called my dad up, and I was like, hey, should I do this? Should I do that? Like, um, like I've, I've thought about it, and, you know, I've thought about it recently. And I think I've just, it's always come back to, like, I don't I don't know. It's just, like, weird shit. Like, you'll lose your fucking hair, and, like, like you know, maybe, like, I, you know, my hormones won't be the same when I, like, come off steroids. And, you know, I'm literally 18. I've thought about this stuff, obviously, for, like, years before because I'm in this industry and because a lot of people that you guys see do them. And so it's always been a thought of mine, but I've always just been pretty scared to do it. And SARMs seem like the safe alternative, even though we, you know, there isn't much research on them at all. Um, 
So, you know, I don't know. It seemed like a safer alternative. I did them. You literally just fucking squeeze it in your mouth like a liquid. Uh, you can take pills, but that's what I did. I took the liquid form. Um, you know, it's not like you're injecting shit. But I'd say <laughs> moving forward, uh, I don't know. There's just not much research on SARMs. So it's not obviously as safe, I guess, as steroids because there's years and years and years of research on steroids. You literally know what's going to happen. You know, you know kind of obviously it's based on, you know, your there's genetics and popping up. Is different, but there's just much more research, it's much more safe. So, yeah, I mean, I think I've just literally put out everything on the table. If you guys have any more questions or if I haven't said anything that you guys want me to say, please, you know, DM me on Instagram. Comment down below. Um, yeah, I, I think I, I don't know. I just want to be as open as possible now. All right. So he was really talking about nothing else towards the end of the video. Um, that's kind of wild. Cause y'all heard me when I first started the video. I was like, I don't think he's on steroids. But from what, like, I just researched it just a little bit, like just now when he started talking about. I've never heard of SARMs before. No cap. I've literally never heard of it before. Um, I'm still not a hundred percent what it is. You guys can kind of let me know down in the comments if you know more about it. I, I'm not saying it's wrong. Well, it's not good, <laughs> but I mean, I'm not going to judge nobody because they do it because, you know, everybody has a different type of lifestyle, but me personally, I would not suggest that you guys have seen my videos about it. Um, I would not suggest it, but at the same time, I'm still not going to bash somebody else for doing it because they did it already. It's their life. They can do what they want. But um, I highly, I would not suggest it. Me personally, he doesn't look like he is, but I guess the strength gains that he has gotten could kind of show that that um, could be possible for him not to be natural. Like I said, I'm not going to judge him. I'm still watching his videos, still watching his YouTube, stuff like that. I mean, he's grown up, like he says, surrounded by people that does, that do steroids. So, so I'm still banging up with the bait. Never mind. Um, <laughs> but he's surrounded by, like, his father does steroids. I think his mother um, trained as well, so I don't know if she was on steroids too. I would, she might be. I don't. I don't know. He's surrounded by people that do steroids, um, so I guess when you're surrounded by that people, it kind of makes it easier. Like I can never picture myself ever doing that just because I'm not surrounded by people like that. I'm like the only person in my family who really works out like that. I'm 100% sure he could best the same weight if he just waited like well worked longer. He said he's been working out for five years, but you know, take it a little longer. Um, to get there, but you could definitely still get there natural. Um, but I guess, you know, some people have different goals, different timelines that you want to reach certain things by. And of course, if you want to be natural, you can't really do that. So, yeah. But, uh, I don't know, man. It's, it's, that's kind of wild. So I really just said before this video, I don't think he's on steroids. But I guess I didn't calculate, like, the strength gains that he's had in, like, the short amount of time he had, which, um, yeah, I don't know. Man, live your best life, Mr. Ryan Casey, you feel me? I don't know. That, that's about to sum it up. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. If you have like, more information on the shrimp, shrimp, whatever it's called thing, you can put it down there. If you want, if you don't want to, that's cool too. But let me know um, down in the comments if you guys thought he was natural before he made this video. And um, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you turn on post notifications because we got bangers coming out. All year long, y'all asked me about the um, the little question thingy in person I was supposed to do because my other monkey video got over 100 likes. Um, it's coming soon, just waiting for the weather to get nice. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, I'm gonna talk to y'all later. Enjoy y'all night, morning, evening, day, whatever the time of the day it is. I love you so much. That's no homo right there, bro. Cat, I don't know what I just said. <laughs>